Welcome to the Horror Next Door. We're back with some of our favorite new horror movie trailers for March 2020. There weren't really that many trailers this month that we enjoyed, so this video is probably going to be pretty short. But before we get started, I just wanted to thank everyone for getting us to 300 subscribers. I know it isn't much, but hey, we're chugging along. Every view and every subscriber is much appreciated. Thank you. So if you like everything horror, horror movies, memorabilia, and masks, please subscribe. Now on with the trailers. Psycho Goreman. Siblings Mimi and Luke unwittingly resurrect an ancient alien overlord. Using a magical amulet, they force the monster to obey their childish whims and accidentally attract a rogues gallery of intergalactic assassins to small town suburbia. Psycho Goreman is written and directed by Steven Kostansky, who also wrote and directed The Void. This movie looks ridiculous, fun, and just a good bloody time. Psycho Goreman looks awesome, his makeup looks great for what I'm sure is probably a small budget. I'm interested in seeing what twisted situations the kids get themselves into having this guy around. Definitely something to keep an eye out for when it's released. I get a little bit of a feeling of Monster Squad from this. It just looks fun. It looks entertaining. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of horror fans, this would put a smile on anyone's face just watching this trailer. So I imagine the movie will be a great time. Not similar to, but in the vein of Deathgasm or like Shaun of the Dead, where you're just enjoying yourself the whole time. And then there's the little added bonus of some gore here and there kind of a thing. Hippopotamus. Ruby wakes from a bad dream to find herself in a real-life nightmare. She's trapped in a basement, her legs are broken, and she can't remember who she is or how she got there. Her kidnapper, Tom, tells her that she will remain captive until she falls in love with him. Ruby is focused on trying to escape until Tom starts helping her to remember her past and she begins to question everything. Yeah, I really don't know what to say. This movie looks weird and just interesting. Why in the world is it called Hippopotamus? Yeah, we'll watch it just to get that answer. What if we don't get that answer? I don't know. It gets one star. Just kidding. <laughs> also in the trailer, I'm not sure how much time passes in the film, but towards the end you can clearly see her walking around, so I don't know what that's about. Her legs are supposed to be broken. My theory? She's crazy too. I think that especially with the setup that they're doing or the, the quote they use that mentions the ending and what a twist or surprise it is, it's intriguing and just makes me want to know more. I think the fact that she can't remember her past is a huge part of the intrigue on this because it makes you wonder if he's telling her the truth about her past and really, how does he pick these people? I mean, she asks him how many there have been before her. I'm hoping we can get into his head a little bit, even though it seems to focus on her the most. I would really like to know his motivations and his past on this, and obviously see really what's going on. Saint Maud follows a pious nurse who becomes dangerously obsessed with saving the soul of her dying patient. St. Maud is written and directed by Rose Glass and stars Morphid Clark as Maud, who starred in Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I don't even know where to begin with this one. St. Maud looks very strange, but very intriguing. The film looks beautifully shot, but not overly artsy. I suspect that there will be some really shocking moments. What is going on with the pins or whatever in her shoes? There are a lot of things that she's doing to herself that are very, <laughs> like, what is going on? And it reminds us a bit of something that Dario Argento may do, or in the vein of, of his films, maybe just the Three Mothers trilogy or something. I don't, I don't know why, but we were getting that vibe. So as Psycho mentioned, it seems like there will be a lot of shocking things that occur in this movie. We're kind of thinking that maybe it will be 
something along the lines of Hereditary, where the trailer really doesn't show you everything, and something really big will happen that you did not expect at all, and it'll just be like, whoa. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please join the other 300 super awesome people and subscribe to The Horror Next Door. All the trailers we discussed in this video are linked in the description box below. While you're down there, please check out our store and social media pages. Until next time! There's a new mask unboxing coming real soon. Look out for it.